All right, guys, you're going to vacation in Costa Rica. You're going to visit Costa Rica and you're coming. Well, what I'm about to tell you is going to affect every single one of you, unfortunately. And it's a scam. And we're going to talk about it in a minute. Hey, guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicanow.com. TravelCostaRicanow.com is a travel agency. So go to TravelCostaRicanow.com. Fill out the four-minute form. You'll be that much closer to the vacation of a lifetime. We're like you. Having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. Hey, man, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. YouTube doesn't care. To see our next video, you got to hit the notification bell and to beat the algorithms that YouTube likes to mess with so you don't see my videos, you got to hit the notification bell. Man, I'm so sad to make this video. You know, I want you to come to Costa Rica. I don't want you to leave with a bad taste in your mouth. You had fun. You saw the beauty. You saw the animals. You did the zip line. But you had a, you had a couple other uh, experiences that you didn't like. And this is one of them. And, it's, and this is a thing. It's a thing. Now, before I get into it, um, I'm going to go sideways at the end of this video. I got a, I got a business opportunity that kind of, kind of flows with this. So... If you're interested, definitely stay to the end. All right, man, you're at a restaurant or bar, they are going to overcharge you. They're going to overcharge you. It's a thing here. It's unfortunate, man. I hate that they do that, but they do do that. All right, why do they do it? And then why... As tourists, do we let them do it? We're going to talk about both those things, all right? So why do they do it? Well, they figure you really don't know much about the conversion rate, maybe. You don't really know. You're not really comfortable with using the money. And, you know, you don't want to appear dumb. You want to look like you know what you're doing. This is also the reason why they shortchange you, which they could also do at the same restaurant or bar. Um, now, this mostly affects... It can, a little, do you know what a soda is? It's a little mom and pop kind of diner little thing out in the open where it's kind of family run. They can, they, they can do this too. They can overcharge you too, but this is most likely going to happen at more of a restaurant bar type of setting, and especially if you're drinking. All right, so what's another reason? Well, they think you're too drunk to remember what you got, <laughs> what you bought. You don't know. You're, you're kind of drunk. You're like, I don't know. Maybe I had 10. <laughs> or, or there's so many people on the same tab, they don't think maybe you're keeping, keeping track of it. Keeping track of it, all right? Um, another reason? <laughs> you're thinking they're never going to see you again. So, you know, maybe they should get their money now. That's a common theme here in a lot of things. They're never going to see you again. And they're just hoping... Now, I've done this. I've, been, I've done this for a lot, a, lot, a lot of times, and it's not good. At the end of the night, or even when I go to dinner, whatever I'm doing, I literally, a lot of times, don't even look at the bill. I just put my bank card down. That's not good. That is not good. All right, so those are mostly the reasons that they do it, but why do we accept them? There's a couple common ones that I just said, but there's a couple other ones, too. Now... You are in another country. Now, I know how that is. You don't really feel comfortable, you know, starting something or complaining, or at least a lot of people don't. They're in another country. They want to be polite. They don't want to seem like that, you know, over-the-top gringo going off, you know. So um, a lot of people just, you know, shit it. Again, they don't want to appear dumb, and a lot of times they, you guys don't know the conversion rate very well. You're a little, little messed up on that. You're like, I don't know, what's, what's a thousand? Is that, a, is that almost two? What is that? And so you're kind of exchanging, and again, you don't want to appear dumb, so you're like, oh, that must be right. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, the other thing is, and this is true, because I still do this, and I've been here 17 years. This is some of the money they have here. All right. It kind of looks like Monopoly money. It looks like it's not really worth all that. Who cares, man? Well, what do they say? It's 10th. Okay, this is about $17 right here. But you know what? Not really. It's a green Monopoly money. And did you say, okay, I could pay that? You're just throwing the stuff down and you're not really clear on what you're given. Again, they can also do this when you throw down dollars and kind of shortchange you too with the, uh, with the change back. But these are literally overcharges on your receipt. Uh, Beers you didn't drink, drinks you didn't have, um, 
maybe even you know the food costs more than it said it did or whatever so okay so this is monopoly money the other thing is <laughs> a lot of you got money and don't give a shit <laughs> you know you just don't care you might even know you'll be getting, be getting ripped off i don't care here you go you got you know maybe it'll help your family and a lot of people do that because you know why i know that because I do that. It seemed like it's throwing down my card and not really looking at the bill. I also just go, I got a little bit of money today and, you know, why not? Here you go. I think you're overcharging me, but I'm not going to check. Um, now, what are they going to say? Almost every time, if you call them out on this, they are, they're going to go, oh my God, I am so sorry. We got to fix that. This is an honest mistake. And that always throws you off, but that's always what they say. And you're kind of like, okay, I, I see that. And you can, you can understand that. So a lot of people, you know, they'll fix it or, or you'll catch them and they'll just say, sorry, honest mistake. And you'd be like, well, yeah, that could happen. Well, guess, <laughs> guess what? They say that shit about, I don't know, 25 times a night. Oh, sorry. Because it's funny how the mistake's never in, your, in, in our favor. All right. Oh, the only time, again, they will, now they'll double down if you've been drinking. If you've been doing some serious drinking with you and the guys or the people you're with or whatever you're doing, and you're hammering beers and drinking cocktails and eating, and you're not really sure, they might double down on, no, this is correct. This is right. And you're kind of like, eh, <laughs> all right, put another beer. Give me another one so I can leave. You know, I mean... You know, so that's the only time they'll really double down on their mistake and not say they made a mistake. That's more in the like the clubs, restaurant bars later at night. Again, people drinking, drinking. And I can relate to that because me and my friends d did drinking, drinking. And I, you know. Now, here's what you can do to combat. You got to keep tabs. If you're, again, there's, there's different scenarios when they overcharge you. Some it's just you're going out to dinner, you know, and you're not really drinking. You're just, you, maybe it's your family. They can still, they still can overcharge you. But the bigger thing is when drinks are involved. So to keep track of your drinks, what a lot of people, hey, don't think they don't do these to Ticos. The people that live here, if they get too drunk, they'll overcharge them too. They, they, uh, they can do bad service on anybody, but... So what the, what the Ticos do is they, they won't let them collect the bottles or whatever they're drinking and they'll keep them on the table so they can keep, they know exactly how many they had. I've, I've seen uh, locals have like a whole table full of beer bottles just so they can kind of keep track of it. But however you can keep track of it, you probably should do it unless again, you don't care. I don't know. Um, the thing is, I've been here long enough, you really should say something because it does make the country look kind of bad because it is a thing and most of them do it. And if you're coming here, you will run into, especially if you're eating out quite a bit, you are going to get hit with this. Your receipt is going to be wrong. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. And I would appreciate people that live here or people that vacation here or have, have been here before, live here, whatever it is. Please leave your comments and kind of back me up on this. I mean, we all know it's true, but if you've just stayed vacation down here, you know, let me know your experience with the with the overcharge. Uh, so you, sh you really should say something. We've got to get on top of this, all right? Now, what I wanted to tell you about, okay, so that's the overcharge. It's a thing, it is a scam, probably one of the biggest scams besides the rental car scams they do here with the price isn't the price with the rental car. Um, but here's the thing, here's my business opportunity. I've made videos about this before. Service typically is not good in Costa Rica. They are not service oriented. They might do everything they're supposed to do, but they, they typically don't smile. It's kind of just their job. And they're like, what are, you, what are you complaining about just because I didn't smile and talk to you? You know, but you know, we're from the, you know, when you're from the States or other places, you know, we, you know, we like personality. We tip on personality. Somebody's, you know, watching that your beer's going down and all that. So, so here's what happened happened to me and this just happened i've been going to the same I, me and d'angelo go out to eat quite a bit and a lot of times we hit the same place and the people became our friends um, basically i checked the bill and they were literally giving me beer prices that they charge the tourists 
when they know that I go in there so much, give them s s a lot of business. I bring, took a lot of people there that, you know, I get the, I get the local price. That's just how it goes, man. That's just how it goes. They were overcharging me. And I could not believe it. I like, you go, I take care of you. I bring people here and you don't give a shit about me. You don't give a shit. You just want my money. And that's the other thing I, I, I again, they don't think they're going to see you again. So they're like, let's get the money now. But this is a place we went three times a week, twice a week, you know, drinking with friends or whatever we were doing. And they fully took advantage. And I called them on it. I got really, really pissed. Now, here comes, here comes the business opportunity. Service isn't really good here. They overcharge. They don't take care of the locals that live here like me. And, and I'm kind of, I bring a lot of people in because of these videos. They don't care. They don't care. I've made videos about this. But the thing is, if you are thinking about living, living in Costa Rica and you want to start a little business, all you have to do is do the bar right. Have personality behind the bar, you know, with a bartender. Have some maybe, let's say, hot girls or whatever with personality. You walk around the tables. You take care of the locals. You give them a better price. And you will beat out everybody in this town. All 7,000 restaurants here. It's, it would be that easy. And then if I'm involved, I'll market the shit out of it to help you bring them to your place. More of a bar situation. Not so much a restaurant. More of a bar. Maybe a couple... You know, you sell slices of pizza or french fries on the side or whatever, but mostly it's a drinking place. And treat people right and treat and give the locals a better price. And you would have not only tourists coming here to your place, but locals that would hang out at your place because there's, a, you know, there's a lot of beer drinkers here that drink beer every day. So, if anybody has a little bit of money, I don't have the money, but I got the marketing. I got the marketing and if I thought the place could work, I would definitely uh, help out in that area because there is no place like that here, unfortunately. It's really sad. It's like, how do you not understand good business, you know? So I don't get it. All right, so that's it, man. That's it. Leave your comments below. If I miss something, please uh, let me know. I love your guys' feedback. You guys always have great suggestions, feedback, perspective, and I love that. So I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps. Things are going to pop up and if you think about living or traveling anywhere, always do your homework and research. And if it's Costa Rica, man, I'm putting my videos up against anybody's. Time for a few beers, right?